Hey YouTube, this is Drew Hadden Tech here to show you how to upgrade the Linux kernel on Ubuntu. So now this process is to be used in one circumstance and in one circumstance only. And that is if you are having issues with a piece of hardware on Ubuntu or a Ubuntu based distro. If you want to use a mainline Linux kernel, which is the latest stock Linux kernel, for any other reason, then don't. Just don't. Because mainline Linux kernels aren't as well tested and tend to be less stable than generic kernels that come with your Linux distribution, in this case Ubuntu. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is open up Terminal. And then by the way, I'll have all the commands in the description, but first thing you wanna do is install Ubuntu mainline kernel.sh. Ubuntu mainline kernel.sh is a script for Ubuntu and Ubuntu-based distros to upgrade the Linux kernel. But anyway, first thing we're going to do is do a wget. Okay, and then once that's done, do a chmod plus x Ubuntu mainline kernel.sh. Okay, now you're going to do a sudo mv Ubuntu mainline kernel.sh slash user slash local slash bin. Punch in your password. All right, so now that we have it installed, we can play around with it. So now let's get a list of the available Linux kernel versions by doing Ubuntu mainline kernel.sh-r. Okay, and then we get all the Linux kernel versions. You're listed from left to right, if you know what I mean. But anyway, let's actually get the latest Linux kernel version. And to do that, we're gonna type sudo Ubuntu mainline kernel.sh-i. And then with this, we can specify version number. Say we want version 4.9, we can do that. But let's just get the latest Linux kernel version. Okay, then I'm gonna hit Y, and then we'll go ahead and download the latest Linux kernel version, or whatever Linux kernel version you're installing. Anyway, this will take a while, so I'll speed this up. All right, so now that the latest Linux kernel version is installed, we're gonna go ahead and reboot, and by default, we'll boot into the latest Linux kernel version that you have installed. All right, so now, just to make sure that we got the latest Linux kernel version installed, let's do a uname-r. There you go, 5.7.0, generic. It says generic, but we're actually on the mainline kernel. But anyway, if you have a bad Linux kernel that just doesn't work, you can always go back to the one before it, or even just go back to the default generic kernel altogether. In fact, we still have the default kernel installed, and you can go back to it using the rub menu, which if it doesn't show up on boot, you can get to by pressing the escape key for UEFI BIOSes, or holding down the shift key for legacy BIOSes, if you know what I mean. But anyway, if you want to downgrade back to the default generic kernel, like say you have a bad Linux kernel and you want to get out of, just do sudo ubuntu mainline kernel.sh u, and then specify which Linux kernel version you want to uninstall. It'll only show mainline Linux kernel versions. Like, as far as I know, this won't let you remove generic Linux kernel versions that come with Ubuntu. But anyway, we're going to remove 5.7.0. And don't worry if you're booted into it. You can simply just reboot and it'll go back. And then you're going to say, yes, we do want to remove this. Yes, we're sure. And that we have another Linux kernel version installed. All right, so then once it says successfully purged, you can simply reboot. All right, then just to make sure, we can do uname dash r. There you go, back to 5.4.0.33 generic. But anyway, then if you decide that you no longer want the upgrader script, no worries. You can simply uninstall it just by running sudo rm slash user slash local slash bin slash ubuntu mainline kernel dot sh. Punch in your password, then hit enter, and there we go. That's gone. But anyway, that is how you upgrade the Linux kernel on Ubuntu. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, found it was helpful, Hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.